one. Just yeah, lift and reel if it's, if you got someone. You don't have to keep jigging it. Just keep it high. Just use your reel. Oh, you got two. There you go. We got a few of you, mate. There you go. I'll, pa I'll, I'll pass it over to this guy now. Uh, right, just, just reel up. I said, don't, don't lift. Yeah, that's, that's all right. Oh, the oh, perfect. There we go. Oh Look at that for lovely conditions. I'm down on the rocks today. I've got some feathers and uh, I've got a spare rod. Uh, that I'm hoping to lay some mackerel on. That's all I'm going to be doing is feathering and continuously until I get a mackerel, then I'm going to lay bait it off the rocks. Conditions are absolutely perfect. A little bit of an onshore breeze, a little bit of a swell, and the clarity's not too bad. So hopefully, if I can get mackerel or scad or anchovies or any live bait, you know, sand eels, garfish, anything, it's going on as live bait, and uh, this should be bass. This is perfect conditions. Don't want to jinx myself, but uh, hopefully, we'll get something now. It's on, live bait time. Okay, the live bait is out. It's such a hassle every time you get a live bait trying to get it out straight away. But, um, got it out and, um, yeah, it's got, I'm just free lining. A lot of people like to fish float. Um, some people will fish over on the ledger. I have got the option to put a weight on and just flick it out and leave it, but I just love free lining them when they, do what you want them to and actually go out there. So yeah, just feathering it out now. And I'm just gonna hold on to this until I get a fish. I might just chuck a lure on the other rods because it looks so good. It's gotta be bass feeding at the moment. It looks unbelievable today. Hi. Okay, so I've got my uh, live bait out there now. I'll just show you the, well, I'm fishing that one on a free line. And what I'm gonna do with this other rod now is try and get some feathers out again. Try and get another fresh mackerel. I'll show you the rig I'll be using with that one then. It's just a swivel down to a 50 gram float. That's locked in, so I've got another swivel there. So that's locked in, just slides between them two swivels. Down to about eight foot then of line. So about, well, six to eight foot of line then. 60 pound uh, shock leader as my biting trace and then just a like a 230 hook there that's just a um cox and roll hook and that's all you need then so i'm gonna try and get another set of mackerel on the feathers now and then chuck them on another live bit and try and get two live bits out just to maximize my chances and uh, hopefully get a bass then so we'll see come on excited
string of mackerel on the sabitis. All perfect joey sized bait. Lovely. I've been live baited two uh, rods now for about half an hour, uh, nothing on them, so if you leave one bait out and uh, I'm getting a bit bored so I'm going to chuck the feathers out the other, I might even chuck a little rod or something, but uh, yeah, just uh, try and get some mackerel for the table now, some bigger sized ones. First, first cast, different species, got some big scad, uh, chuck these ones back, not too interested in the scad. Can be, they can work as live baits as well. But um, I'm not sure what they like very good. Yeah, I don't think they're any good for our three kiddies. Right then, try another cast and see if it's still here. Right, that was hard going, harder than I thought, so I'm going to chuck these back on those live baits and just stick to my guns and stick to the bass now. Something seems to be chasing my macro around. Well, macro definitely got a lot more lively now, I feel like you can still see this float there. But um, it's been running around madman. I'd love that just to get absolutely submerged. Oh yeah, something just picked that up. Okay guys, it's currently bang on high tide. I'm just still persevering. Uh, it's half past nine, ten o'clock now. I'm not too sure, but I got my two rods set up. Got my multiplier in close with a dead joey on my left rod. And then on the right rod then, I've still got the um, live mackerel. But it's on a really long trace at the moment. I swapped the float around for a little ledger bomb. And I'm just fishing like a long eight foot trace, so I can't see too much, but Hopefully if a bass picks it up, I'll see it. Uh, that's further out, a little bit further out. And this is right in close on the left. So hopefully we pick something up now to finish. But I'm going to give it another half an hour and then um, call it a day, I think. There you go, guys. Bass on the live bait. <laughs> so look, let's get this up. On the live bait. It's not anything massive. Uh, but hey, it's a fish. It's taking until darkness to get it. Uh, I'll keep fishing a little bit longer because I, I missed a nice fish on the um, other other uh, thing as well. But yeah, it's not a bad fish. It's about pound, pound and a half. I don't know. It's not bad. Uh, but I, I don't know. It's absolutely wolfed it down. I'll try and get the hook out and uh, get this released. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. It's the first fish. It takes some time, but got one. There you go, guys. That's on the whole mackerel on the side. Conger eel, only a tiny one as well. Not even worth uh, worth mentioning, really. But uh, little conger, still got one live bait out there. Just see it down there. Still, still going around. So there's still a chance. It's currently exactly high tide, but we're still going. Half past nine. Not too late. So let's, let's get this unhooked and get another bait though. Hi right, guys, just um, a little round up of the session. Just back in the car now, long walk, I am knackered. Stayed that extra half hour longer than I should have really, uh, but you know how it goes. After that bass, I had a lot of confidence just fishing the dead joeys in the side. Um, no, I ended up with one bass, conger, lots of mackerel, a few scad. 
uh, yeah, so good session. Um, looking back, I think I fished the float a little bit too high up because uh, that bass came on the running ledger on the bottom. So next time I think I'll just fish the live mackerel on the bottom. Um, but yeah, it was a good session and I definitely have confidence in it. The conditions were perfect. I had loads of confidence. Um, but yeah, just a one bass tonight, but better than nothing, beat the blank. So yeah, enjoy. Please uh, like and subscribe.